Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health. Order. What assurances can he give the public that no one will be left unsafe in their own home due to changes in health policy? Honourable Tony Ryle. Uh, Mr Speaker, I can pass on the assurances given to me by relevant chairs of district health boards that no one will be left unsafe in their homes as a result of any changes to the way they allocate their home support. In any year, around 75,000 people receive home support, 15,000 come on and 15,000 come off as circumstances change. Honourable Ruth Dyson. Can he guarantee that not one of the thousands of older people in the Wellington region who are about to have their home help cut will be unsafe? And if so, how does having a community services card make them more at risk? The Honourable Tony Ryan. Uh, Mr Speaker, the member is referring to an announcement by Capital Coast that it will means test its home cleaning services uh, and this actually brings them into line with the rest of the country and actually returns them to the approach they had before 2005. What I can tell the member is that we have spent more money on home support last year and we're spending more money this year. The Honourable Damien O'Connor. Mr Speaker, how does the Minister respond to the editorial comment of the Nelson Mail of 15th of September in regard to the plight of the 14 residents of the Joan Whiting Rest Home, all of whom are frail and some in very poor health, quote, the prospect of uprooting and transplanting them to a foreign environment because in essence the health bureaucracy can't get its act together is scandalous. If there was ever an unjust problem with a straightforward solution, simply beg begging for some sensible leadership, this is. We look forward to Mr Ryle filling the vacuum, unquote, or is the fa in fact the problem he is the vacuum? The Honourable Tony Ryle. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, the local member of parliament, Mr Ockenvold, has actually come to me with a solution which is more than that member has ever come to the government with. And that solution uh, has, is going to see, I'm sure, very positive progress made in, made in that area. The important thing that I would underline is if members of parliament come with solutions, there can be progress. If a member of parliament opposite comes with a complaint, there won't be. The Honourable Damien O'Connor. Will he guarantee that residents of the Joan Whiting Rest Home will not be thrown out from their home without any option of care in their community? And if not, what does he suggest they do? Honourable Tony Ryle. Uh, Mr Speaker, the local member of parliament, Mr Chris Ockenvoll, has come to me with a proposal that we are working through very closely, and I am certain it will result in a very positive outcome for the people uh, affected. What I have to say is that there's been a lot of talk in that community for some time about a new integrated health centre. We haven't had a timeline on that, and I know that the Ministry of Health is working closely with the local people on that. Question number 10, uh, Gareth Hughes. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister for Tertiary 